Okay, so I'm here in uh, Ontario, Canada, and I am staying at a cabin right now, and I've got this Jackery, and I'm gonna give it a test here to see if it can, I can cook a breakfast with it on this hot plate. I'd be pretty impressed if it can do it. I have no idea if it's gonna work. Um, obviously there's other ways you could, you know, cook a breakfast uh, by lighting a fire or something, but I'm gonna give this a shot because this is much more comfortable. And um, this is a pretty impressive unit, all the things that it can do. It has a thousand watt peak output so it might be able to manage this thing. It's uh, it's hard to say, but I'd be pretty impressed. And I'm giving it a test. I had it, I just plugged in the solar panels here. Um, and uh, the unit wasn't fully, fully charged. It was at like 97% and it's already come up to 100% just from plugging in for a couple minutes. So it's pretty impressed with that. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's give this a rip. Pretty cool, this is the input, output, no inputs coming in because it's 100%. There's the output. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this AC to activate these to my hot plate. Hear the fan kick on. If I crank it up, will it kick off? Looks like it's managing it. We got output 972 watts. And here's the input from the sun right now, 14 watts off the panels. So I'm doing both at once. Very impressive, I gotta say. And this is uh, you know, quite a large hot plate with a big element that runs through it, so. Um, wow. Well, so far so good, I'm pretty impressed. Um, in the event of a power outage, you can actually run a skillet off this, let alone a hot plate, um, which is pretty amazing considering this is you know, the, uh, a solar powered battery unit. I wouldn't have thought it could have handled something this substantial because like typically heat draws a huge amount of power. So you're gonna have no problem powering a fridge, charging up your laptop, charging up your phone, charging up your camera batteries those kinds of things if it can manage this. 100 watt, 18 volt panels are pretty impressive too. I'm curious if this thing can handle uh, any more draw. So I'm gonna plug my cell phone into it. See if I can charge that up as well. Activate the DC button and there we go. I'm charging. So I'm gonna put this to the test even more. I've got three GoPro batteries here um, in the charger, three of them, and I'm gonna plug it in and see if I can draw another three amps out of this. And sure enough, it's working. So pretty impressive. Oh, I don't know what it is, just like I've never, I've used little solar things before, but nothing like this. Like this is just so cool to be able to just freaking use the sun and, and charge and like run a skillet like this and cook breakfast. It's like, I don't know, it just feels so amazing. It kind of feels like magic to be honest with you. You know, like you burn gas in a generator. It just makes sense to me, but working with the sun like this and cooking up, it's just, 
it just feels so nice. It's like so clean and so quiet. Um, pretty cool. So yeah, Jackery reached out to me and asked me to give this thing a review and I figured, you know, I'm going to give it, it's their big unit. I'm like, I'm going to put it to the test and I don't think you can um, really put it to the test better than this. When you have like heat draws significant wattage and, and, um, and it's running this skillet, you know, I'm cooking up freaking breakfast here, bacon and eggs and some breakfast sausages. Pretty cool. They have smaller units than this. This one's the Jackery Explorer 1000. And these are the uh, solar panels, solar Sega 100 watt panels. Uh, there's two of them, 18 volt panels. I did a trip with my brother where we brought an actual gas powered generator and this would have um, this would have done the job as opposed to that. So, you know, because if you have to charge drone batteries, you can't just charge them off most units. You need a pretty substantial heavy duty charging system. And you know, this well, this one's running a freaking skillet here. <laughs> so it can definitely charge drone batteries. Comes with this kit. And inside you get uh, an AC, so plug into your wall to charge this puppy. Or a DC to plug into the uh, car if you're camping. You don't have to leave your car running to have power. And when you're driving, you charge it up. So that's a good function for it as well. For your car, charge the unit. For the wall, to charge the unit. And then of course, for the solar panels to charge the unit. Just one of those things too, like, you know, you don't have fuel for another generator. This one, you always have fuel even for some of the other trips i do i'd be interested in some of the smaller units like like uh um that are lighter uh you know for depending on how long i was going for a lot of the time you wouldn't even need the solar panels because this would have just enough juice to get you through a long trip oh bella's here hi bella come on bella come on Bella, Bella showed up right on time for when the food is done. What a surprise. Come on, come on. Good girl. even got a light on the side here um, but yeah great unit pretty impressed with it you know if you're in a situation like this great power goes out you can cook can do it inside without any smoke any fuel I'm pretty impressed with the panels and just how they work they just fold up the back of the panel just got the cable here just a single cable you take it, plug it in here. Same with the other one. Unzip it, plug it in here. Both panels are connected and then it goes right into here. Simple as that. And we're charging. So pretty cool. And the other thing that's pretty cool is back of the panels themselves you can actually charge directly from the panel like that so if all you have is the panel and you just carry it like that magnetic pretty convenient open it up like that it's got kickstands in the back just Velcro out, and if you want, all you have is that. You can literally just pull this out, plug your cell phone right into it, right into the panel. And you can see my phone will, you'll hear it charging. Just like that. So, pretty cool charging up my phone right there just straight off the panel without even using that unit so 
uh, that's pretty freaking cool and there's two there's a USB-C outlet as well so um, literally you could be charging one two three four and using all the things off of that it's a win for me so we got 78 watts from the solar panels charging this unit right now. Even though I'm in a forest area where the trees are blocking a lot of the sunlight, it uh, the panels are producing right now, as I look at it, 122 watts. Um, so they're each a 100 watt panel. Uh, so I suppose that absolute max capacity sunlight um, at the peak of the day without a forest and stuff, it could produce 200 watts. But pretty good, 124 watts. Uh, being put in so they're operating at 75% capacity right now in a forest so and and in the fall so pretty good um, and and it looks like they're charging up so I'm impressed so far definitely a viable thing with the the solar panels 